Welcome back to Sunrise. We're joined now by Dr. Emily Stafford and Dr. Michael Nador from the mm -hmm. Psychology Clinic at Mississippi State University. Good morning, guys. Good Thank morning. Thank you both for being here. We're talking this morning about mindfulness. Now, this is something we talked about last month, and I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into it because, Dr. Nador, if there are mm -hmm. things you can do to help you be more mindful. Absolutely. And so what we thought we'd do today is a very brief exercise with this uh, with some chocolate that we brought in. Mm -hmm. So with mindfulness, one of the things we really focus on is being in the moment. Because when you think of anxiety, for instance, it's almost always that you're thinking of the future, you're thinking of the past, you're not really there in the moment. So if you can get in the moment, you can overcome a lot of those, those fears and worries that you have. So with that, I'll let Dr. Stafford divvy up the chocolate. Okay, I'm surprised <laughs> the chocolate's lasted this long in the studio already. All right, I got my so, piece. So what you want to do with this, um, again, we go through a, a longer spiel when we're actually doing this, but just, I want you to feel the chocolate first of all, and okay. just become aware of what it is. Right now it's probably melting your fingers. So actually, it's, it's staying together pretty there good. There you go. Okay. So, and then go ahead and taste the chocolate. And, and as you do that, focus on the different sensations that you feel. You know, at first it's very solid, and then it slowly, you know, gets to be much softer. Um, think of the way it coats your mouth. It's, it forces you to be aware of the different sensations that you're experiencing. And when you do that, it forces you to be in the moment and not to be worrying about what happens next, you know, next week, next, you know, two weeks. Right. So it, it just helps center you in a way that can be done very quickly and easily throughout the day. Right. And what are some of the positive things that, that can come from being just generally more mindful? Uh, well, a lot of it is going to be, you know, Going back to anxiety, it makes a lot of sense that mm -hmm. it's going to help you focus on the here and now. Okay. Because worrying about the future, worrying about the past is not going to help you solve your problem. But right now is when you can actually do something. So it's going to help you focus on, on solving the problem at the time that you can and be most effective that way. Some great advice there. Dr. Stafford, if somebody has uh, some questions about being more mindful mm -hmm. or seeking some advice in that, that arena, what would you suggest that they do? Sure. Um, so we do offer a mindfulness group at the psychology clinic. Um, we do it once a semester. Um, right now we're wrapping up our summer group and we'll start a group in the fall, probably in late September. Okay. Um, so you can come to your group um, or if perhaps uh, the group setting isn't your favorite setting, um, you can come to individual uh, services with us at the clinic um, and we can offer mindful mindfulness services um, individually as well. All right, very cool. Something to, to think about this morning. Guys, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next month. Let's send it over now to Alex. He's got an update on our forecast. Hey, Alex.